Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, today's beer comes from Hill Farmstead Brewing. Uh, this is their Susan. And uh, this was sent to me by my beer brother Greg. He sent me a nice little beer mail package yesterday. Uh, says, he says he picked this up at the brewery. He said it's rated number 151 on Beer Advocate's Top 250 list. So. I'm I don't know how outdated that list would be since half the beers I've done lately aren't even on there. So, uh, but anyway, I appreciate him uh, picking this up at the brewery and sending it to me. Uh, this is not a big beer, guys. I've looked all over the can. I could not find the ABV on the can. To me, that's a no-no. Uh, Untapped says it's 80 IBUs, and Susan was uh, our grandfather's sister. In her honor, we offer this version of an American IPA. So, uh, we shall see what this brings to the table. Uh, once again, Greg, thanks for the beer mail package. And, uh, Hill, Hill Farm uh, said makes some really tasty stuff, guys. I mean, I've had some of the stuff that Greg in particular has sent sent to me. Uh, these guys are in la, 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 Vermont. Greensboro Bend, Vermont. Uh, and again, uh, they need to put the ABB on so you'll know. Uh, and it has an explanation here about Susan. She was born in 1891 and died in 1976 and it's got the whole story here and I'm not going to read that guys so uh, it's just a tribute to to that fine lady I'm sure and underneath the bottom it said it was canned on 0707 uh, 21 so uh, pretty fresh I mean a uh, couple weeks old so uh, should be very tasty guys and looking at the uh, picture here it looks like a New England style beer so if you're looking for a slightly lower than a double IPA, this would probably fit the bill. Uh, but you're probably going to have to be in that their neck of the woods up there uh, if he's picking up a debris. I don't know if you have to pick it up a debris, more than likely so. It's probably not distributed it's a lot like a lot of the breweries up there. Uh, uh, Treehouse and Trillium where you have to actually go there to get it. Uh, they sell everything out the door there and don't have... Uh, the means to make enough to distribute it privately. Uh, I don't know how big their operations are. But anyway, we're going to get to this beer. Uh, we've gone over the ABV and the IBUs and the Canton date. So let's see what we got. It's a big 16 ounce can, plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around the label. Just in case any settling has gone on. We'll do the little swirly swirl. All right. Right out of finger of head on that. Maybe just a tad more, guys. Uh, definitely looks like a New England style beer to me. Uh, not a bright orange juice color, uh, but definitely still looks like orange juice. Uh, I mean, it's a good looking beer. What do you think? Let's find out. Let's get it to the nose. Oh yes, very pleasant aroma. Nice citrusy. Maybe a slight hint of some pine and some dankness. It smells pretty good. I mean, uh, I don't know uh, which particular hop they've used. Uh, uh, 
hops from the Yakima Valley. Rewaka hops from New Zealand. And our ale yeast will filter dry hop through this memory hop. So, make it just a slight hint of some pine, but the citrusy notes are standing out more. It smells awesome. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Very pleasant. A little bit of a bite to it. 6% with 80 IBUs. That's a lot of IBUs for a 6% beer. Other than that, it's super tasty, guys. I mean, this is a well-made beer. Very pleasant to drink. Alcohol is well hidden. Very nice citrusy uh, notes on the on the taste. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, like I said, these guys at Hill Farm said uh, brew some tasty stuff. A lot of breweries up in New England brew this style of beer very very well so uh, nicely done so it's got all three bits of information well actually it don't it don't have uh, ABB on it so I don't know why that is uh, a lot of breweries don't want to either put the IBUs or the ABB or the Candon date for some reason a lot of breweries still uh, a little negligent in that aspect in my opinion but like I said uh, that's what it is uh, maybe they're wanting to reuse the labels over and over I don't have any idea maybe the ABV is going to change a little bit from batch to batch so maybe that's why they're doing it I don't know but anyway very tasty beer it's cold right out of the fridge just gonna sip on it let it warm up I'll be right back all right guys I'm back got just a little left here super tasty beer awesome beer uh, to me guys, because it don't have the ABV on the can, it's a 10 beer and a 9 can. That's how I feel. I mean, it's got to have the ABV. you got to know what you're buying. Uh, of course, if you're buying at the brewery, I'm sure they can tell you that. But it needs to have the ABV on it. I mean, come on. But I understand why. I mean, they're probably using this label year after year on the same beer. Uh, and that way they don't have to, if the ABV changes, they don't have to do anything special. So uh, I do understand that, but if it was sitting on the shelf here, I, even though I know it's an awesome beer, uh, it's got to have the ABV on it. Uh, the IBUs aren't as critical, so give me the, the date it was canned on and the ABV. And if it's a super tasty beer, I'll give you the grade. So uh, it's got one of the two. So 10 beer and a, and a 9 can as far as I'm concerned. So. Final show. Awesome aroma and taste on this beer, guys. This is close to 100 as I can give it without the ABV. It's 99. Uh, so, definitely an A plus beer and an A can, but I'm going to give it as much. Uh, benefit of the doubt there been given it a 99 out of 100 and that's the only reason why it doesn't get the 100 because there's no ABV on the label so over to beer advocate they say 100 imagine that and untapped has it at 4.33 which is in their A category I mean I've seen a lot better numbers uh, from these guys uh, I mean I think I've, it's gone almost up to 4.6, 4.7, I mean 4.58, somewhere in that area, if I remember correctly. Uh, but it's, it's, it's tasty, it's worthy of picking up, especially if you're in the vicinity of this brewery it's, and you like this style, it is definitely worth picking up. So, Greg, once again, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it, sir. If you've had Susan from Hill Farmstead Brewing, the 2021 edition, let me know what you think. Tell me again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.